Hello and welcome to my Learn Worlds review where I'm going to be giving you some of the best features and a demo of them along with talking about the pros and cons. Before I begin, I do want to let you know that they come with a free trial and I will put that link down below in case you want to check them out. It's always going to be the best way to get an idea if they're going to be right for you. Let's continue and start when it comes to their course creation. So with Learn Worlds, it's a pretty straightforward process for getting up and running with your courses, and that's a great thing. Allow me to follow through and show you the steps. In the beginning here, I'm just going to create a new course to show you the example. I put the Lean and Mean Online Business. That'll be the title. Let's click Next. After that, we can edit around our friendly URL. Probably not going to be that long, so let's just do online business, a little bit more friendly. Let's click next. For this, we can choose from being paid, draft, coming soon, free or private. This, I'm just gonna go with paid. Of course, we can offer a discount, but first we're gonna give it a price. Let's call it. And of course, if we wanna give a discount, let's say we go down to $67. Let's click next. Here we can upload an image for our course. And the cool thing about that is that there's multiple ways of doing that. All throughout Learn Worlds, many times you're gonna see that you can utilize free picks. Obviously, if you have a picture of yourself, your brand, your company, you can just upload that from your device. But for the sake of being quicker and easier, I'm gonna click on free picks and we can utilize Unsplash to say, get a picture of software. Allow me to do that right now. So there we are. I think this one looks fine. Let's go with this one. And just like that, it's gonna be uploaded so we can use that. Here's our description. Allow me to add that in. All right, leveraging software to build a lean and mean online business. Of course, about that, let's click next. And of course, yes, you can drip feed it. I do have a specific tutorial about this, but I'm just gonna click on on to show you what this is all about. You can do it by days where it can be based on the date the student enrolled in the course. So each student will get access to the learning material separately, or you can do it by date. So unlock course content on specific dates, regardless of the time these students enrolled. All students will acquire access to the learning material at the same time. So usually by days is one that a lot of people do. For example, if you have a subscription, so the first content is gonna be in 30 days, the next content will be the next 30 days, and so on and so forth. And of course, you could always change around and edit that once you get a little bit deeper into creating and uploading the course. Let's click on finish. And just like that, it creates a layout for you when it comes to utilizing their uh, drag and drop builder, which you can see right here. I'm going to get a little into that a little bit after, but let's keep creating our course. We can go to contents. Here is going to be the section, in my opinion, very easy to do. I guess you can consider this the Learn Worlds membership area. The membership area is that it's going to host all the products, or excuse me, the videos, the sections, the PDFs, the files, the, the quizzes, and so on and so forth. Let's start with this section. So this can be the introduction. And I'm not going to go in and add all specific descriptions, but you know, you can get the idea whenever you put a section, what's this going to be about? Let's click save. Now that we have a section, what we can do is add activities. As you can see right here, we have video, which can be interactive depending on the specific plan that you have, eBooks, PDFs, you have SCORM and HTML5 packages, audio, YouTube, SoundCloud. Of course, we have live sessions, exams, self-assessment, forms, certificates, and of course, being able to embed videos. I did a separate video about a lot of those, so I won't go too deep into those, but for example, let's say we wanted to upload a multimedia or a video, let's do that call this our introduction and we want to do save and edit so we can actually edit the video that's going to be in there. So something that you might not realize is that there is also Learn Worlds video hosting. If I go from course video library, what I can do is add one right here. So let's do that. And what I'm going to do is simply upload a video very quickly. And just like that, after some time, what I did is just upload the beginning section for this. So what I'm going to do is go back to contents here. I just want to show you back to where we were here. So if I go to settings, and of course, we have from our course library, we can select the video and we have our introduction. Once again, if you want to add something else, you can do digital downloads. This is a great aspect for, say, adding an ebook. There's learning activity backgrounds, completion rules, depending on the specific plan that you have. But I'm going to click on save there. Now, when it comes to this, it's like I said, it's a pretty simple process. If we wanted to add more activities, we can do that. Ebooks, PDFs, and so on and so forth. Maybe you have another video. That's where it's going to be. But allow me just to quickly save this, and then you can see what it looks like. Hey, it's James Canzanella, and thank you so much. Yeah, great. And so there's going to be the video player. You can change around this aspect if you want to customize that. That's also another great thing about Learn Worlds. There's a lot of customizations. If you like a lot of bells and whistles for your online courses, I think Learn Worlds is going to be a great choice for you. They certainly have a lot of those. Enough staring at me, though. What also is great about Learn Worlds is the fact that they come with communities. Communities are kind of, think of it like a Facebook group, but it's going to be attached to the platform so that your audience, your students, and of course, all your customers don't have to travel elsewhere to do it. 
allow me to load that up very quickly and show you what it looks like. So as you can see in the settings under learning apps, we have our community feature. What I'm gonna do is be opening this up right here so you can get an idea of what it looks like. All in all, you can change around the colors and the buttons and so on and so forth. Probably change it a little bit better so the green is it, green's a little bit harder to see, but it works very similar to say a Facebook social group. In fact, the newsfeed looks very similar to something you would see on Facebook. Let's type this in. What are you up to today? And let's click on share. And as you can see, what's gonna happen, this is gonna pop up where someone can say like, yeah, kind of like a like, uh, not much, okay, just random text I know obviously. This is going to be usually related to the course that you're talking about, but it's a nice little feature that allows you to be here and of course not have to separate onto a Facebook group where there's gonna be a lot of distractions. Heck, there's a lot of ads sometimes running in Facebook groups and so on and so forth. Overall, it's definitely a nice touch to be able to have this when creating online courses so you can talk to your group, of course your audience, all in one section. Going back to our lean and mean online business, we're going to talk about very quickly the Learn Worlds website builder. So this is gonna be a fancy little builder and while it's very simple, there's also a lot of gadgets, features, bells and whistles with it. So it does kind of combine the power of simplicity when it comes to creation with a lot of nice upgrades should you wanna utilize them. If I click on the edit page right here, let's move into the editor where you can see anything you hover over is free game. You can change it around, you can move it around. Anything you wanna type right here is what you can edit and so on and so forth. Just kind of scrolling down to show you what's gonna be here, what's included. Obviously say we don't like that. Let's click on change right here. Once again, same thing you've seen it before. Let's go with some software. And we utilized some other one before. I think this one looks a little bit better. Perfect, same thing here. Not gonna do that since you know how it's done. Scrolling down a little bit more, let's close this out. We have our introduction. Remember, this is just the, the one section that I added in there for you. Of course, if we wanted to change that around, we add that in. If there's something we don't like, we can obviously click on it, change around, move it around. Really gonna be up to you, for example. Let's say we don't care about Vimeo too much. We don't care about this, that, and this random little button actions that you can take. But overall, it's a pretty clean builder. And like I said, there's a lot going on aside from actually being able to create a page for your course. You can actually utilize them for pretty much a lot of things right here. As you can see, you have your blog homepage, external pages with about courses and home. Let's click on home so I can show you that. Sure, let's click on save. And when we get to our home, you can see what it's going to be all about. Now, going back quickly, there is something I love when it comes to the website builder. It's a feature that goes hand in hand with it. So I'm gonna click back. And this is gonna be the theme Explorer. This is something I did when I talked about the tutorial overall. It's a great way to manage your colors and overall your text all in one spot. Normally, if you're going to create a website or any type of platform that you want to use to sell, maybe generate leads, whatever it's going to be, you have to go in and change around the color for this, the color for that, the text size of this. But with this, what you can do is go through and pick these specific color segments that you want to utilize. That's going to accurately represent your brand, your colors, or maybe just the feel of how you want to be on your main website. Maybe you just want to go with red and dark. That's going to be up to you. As you can see, everything's going to change. We have a Swedish twist. We have some autumn rain. Really up to you, but I typically like the uh, Hartford Whalers colors. If you're, if you're familiar with them, like I talked about in another video, you're probably as old as me. They used to be an NHL team. But uh, aside from that, that's a nice little touch. Let's click on save and close. What's also a nice touch is the ability to utilize the Learn Worlds funnels and landing pages. So what we can do here, if I click on a new one, it's pretty much going to be the same thing as using the website builder. And that's always a good thumbs up. While there are going to be plenty of more features, it's nice when bigger features like landing pages, sales funnels, and websites all have a similar kind of interface. So you won't have to learn too much in that specific aspect. You can utilize eBooks, eBook magnets, scrolling down email opt-ins. We have lead magnets with coupons. So that's going to work perfectly or go hand in hand if you have a coupon, opt in to get this 10% off, of course, going from there. Sales pages, uh, we have selling a course landing pages, we have webinar registration, something that they do offer as well, and so on and so forth. So once again, a nice touch. And with a lot of these features, you can see it's mostly that you can get almost everything you need all in one spot. I say almost because there's usually maybe one or two things that you might be missing, but they do have a lot of great integrations for that. Let me to quickly go over those just so you can see what the Learn Worlds integrations are. When it comes to affiliates, you have a few right here with referral candy and refersion. Under analytics, we have Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Mixed Panel, and of course the Facebook Pixel if you're going to be utilizing Facebook. 
CRM tools is mostly going to be with HubSpot there if you get the super upgrade. Customer service is going to have Fresh Chat, Zendesk, Olark, and Talk2. This is what I was talking about, how they have almost everything, but if they don't have it, they can integrate with it, making a nice little platform to get you a lot of things done, especially when selling courses. Email marketing, I will leave this up at top in case you have one of those. Those are going to be the main email platforms that they integrate. They can always add more, but at the time, this is what they have. We have some growth tools aspects, so uh, GSC verification. We have Intercom and Sumo. Live Sessions is going to be utilized with Zoom, of course. Social Proof, if you want to utilize that with FOMO. And Zapier, of course, is going to be a huge integration for doing a lot of different things if you want to go that techie way of doing that. There's also going to be the Learn Worlds Payment Gateways. I know these are usually popular, so I want to bring them up. We have Stripe, PayPal, Shopify, and Page Seguro. I'm not too familiar with them. I've, in fact, I don't think I've ever heard of them, but Stripe, PayPal, and Shopify are huge when it comes to integration. So, all right, and there's just about one or two more things I want to talk about before I wrap up this Learn Worlds review. Overall, it's going to be the Learn Worlds pros and cons. So I'm going to keep it on the pricing page because there are some things here that I think could be improved a little bit better, but these are going to be my opinions. First of all, starting with the Learn Worlds pros, I love the fact that they have a free trial. I think that's just fantastic. I think most software should have that nowadays, you know, because if you have an interest in something, it's always good to test drive it. Like I'm getting a car right now, and if I couldn't test drive it, I probably wouldn't buy it. I think it's the same thing with software. I can tell you about how a lot of these features are great, but I might have more experience than you. So it might be a different feel for you. So it's always great for you to be able to test it out, make sure it feels right for you. And it has all these specific features that you need and they work well for your liking. So that's a good thing. Next is going to be speaking of features, they have a plethora of them. And if they don't have them, there's a there's the ability to integrate with a lot of other platforms we talked about, whether it's going to be affiliates, statistics or something like um, fresh desk where you need some type of customer support that's a great thing another great perk about them is that creating courses is a breeze when it comes to the uploads you saw how i was doing that didn't have to go repeat the same process over and over but if you want to upload videos they do have video hosting that's a great thing depending on the plan you get for example if you get the learning center there's the interactive videos which can add even more bells and whistles towards your teaching and learning of course and it's just great to be able to upload specific downloads videos everything all on one platform easily upload it because that's going to allow you to get you up and running much quicker. I also do want to say that having the community feature is a nice touch. That means you won't have to go outside maybe to Facebook, to Discord, wherever people are going nowadays. It's really up to you, but keeping it all in one platform, big thumbs up. And of course, like I said, you get quote unquote everything you need. There might be one or two things, but they have a lot of great integration. So you get a lot of great features under one roof and that's always a good thing. So you get a lot of great features under one roof and that's definitely a thumbs up. On the other side, we have a couple of Learn Worlds cons. First and foremost, the starter, of course, when it is coming to the features that you get, it is a starter. So it might be a little bit limited. So you can expect that with their site builder. If I go to hover over this, it says the homepage course catalog after login page, compare that to the complete site builder and you get so much more. I see why it's done obviously between starter and pro trainer. It'd be cool if you got a little bit more, but it's enough to get the job done. And also I'd probably my biggest gripe with the starter could be the $5 per course sale. That can certainly add up. That's a pretty hefty transaction. So that could limit the price plan that you plan on selling at. For example, are you going to sell a $5 course? If you're getting $5 per course sale, you're making no money, right? And even if you're at $10, that's 50% in terms of the transaction fees. So depending on where you were selling at, the starter plan could be a hit or miss. If you have a much higher course, not so much of a big deal, but of course there is always the pro trainer where if you get the upgrade, there are no transaction fees. So a little bit steep on the transaction, but overall there is the ability to kind of avoid it depend on how high you price it or if you use the pro trainer. And another one is going to be that the community could be a little bit more customizable. They do have badges there. This is something that is in beta, so I won't like go too much into it because they can always change it. It's great that it allows the gamification aspect where if people comment more and they interact more, they get certain badges for whatever they accomplish. However, I would love it if you could change those around, name them around, use them something similar to your own brand or add different type of badges so that you can keep getting people coming back for more because we've seen it in the past. Gamification is a great thing. Video games use it all the time and people will never put that controller down once they have that specific accolade that they have their eye on. So the ability to edit that, and I think that would be a nice little touch. I think that could be improved a little bit, but I won't say, I won't go too deep into it, like I said, because it is still in beta. So there's always room for options and upgrades, but that's something that I saw immediately could be fixed up a little bit, especially when it comes to the customization of communities overall. Last but not least, I talked about there is a lot of simplicity in this 
especially when it comes to the uploading the course. One thing is that there might be a little bit slighter, more of a learning curve. And you know, that's to be expected when you have something that's very similar to an all in one platform and you have this plethora of features, there are going to be a few features that might take a little bit longer to get used to compared to uploading a course, which in my opinion, I talked about is a breeze. So just expect that, you know, especially if it's a new software, but overall, those are going to be the pros and cons. And when it comes to my learn worlds review conclusion, this comes with a free trial. It's something you should certainly try. And especially for the fact that it has a lot of features here to make your job of getting a course up and running, selling it. And of course, keeping a community of people to talk to engaged. I think learn worlds does that pretty well and definitely try it out. My link will be down below in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching my learn worlds review. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.